Um, first of all, about uh, RASH. Uh, RASH is the, uh, the Albanian ac academic network. It's pretty recent. It's been founded a few years ago. It connects Albanian public universities to, uh, well, the European research network and the internet, obviously. And it also provides other services to universities like software for HR administration and portals for, for professors and students. And me, I'm from, okay, too far. Yeah, this doesn't work. Um, okay, me, I'm from Namex, which is a neutral, not-for-profit uh, IXP based in Rome, Italy. Uh, it's uh, been founded uh, quite a long uh, time ago as uh, internet-wise. Uh, it's got more than 70 members, uh, all kind of members, um, carriers, access providers, content providers, OTTs, uh, academic networks, um, anything basically. Uh, public peering, collocation, meet me room, uh, 40 gigs of traffic, and uh, the mission is not only to make pack, um, to exchange packets, but also to build communities and facilitate the interconnection of uh, networks. But let me get into it. Um, where does local Albanian traffic go? If you're in Albania and you want to reach another, a, a server in Albania, where do you go? So, um, I have a few examples here. Let me take uh, Škodra to Tirana. Uh, Škodra is a um, city in the north part of Italy, uh, of, sorry, Albania, <laughs> lapses. And um, um, it's, uh, it's not far from here, actually. And uh, the distance to Tirana is 70 kilometers as the crow flies, 100 kilometers with a car. So obviously, uh, IP packets are much smarter than that. And so they go through Athens, London, Amsterdam, Hamburg, Prague, Bratislava, Budapest, Belgrade, and actually through here, basically, with uh, an RTT of 100 uh, milliseconds and more. So very smart. Second example, uh, Cooks uh, to uh, Tirana. It's also a city in the northeast part of Albania. 100 kilometers, straight line, 150 with a car, not very far. But your packets still go to Central Europe and Vienna, Bratislava, Budapest, and again through this hotel, basically. Um, the, the RTT is not bad, actually, 30 milliseconds. Um, and then last example, and I don't want to uh, hit on a political sore spot, but um, you know, obviously, when we're talking about Albanian language, internet, websites, etc., this has to include um, Kosovo. And uh, so I've also measured the distance to, uh, from Kosovo to Albania. So from Pristina to Tirana, there's 185 kilometers straight line, 250 kilometers, basically, uh, with your car. And here as well, uh, obviously, well, it comes through the northern part of Italy, Milan, Frankfurt, Munich, Vienna, Sofia, and Skopje, not through Montenegro for once, and 70 milliseconds of RTT to do, remember, 200 kilometers, so not very far. Um, so, a small note, all of this has been made with a Ripe Atlas, um, a little sponsored advertisement. If you don't have a Ripe Atlas probe, please take it. They're, they're outside here, they, they distribute it. Um, it's a very useful tool. But you could say, well, these are just three examples, right? Oh, it's extreme routing, uh, you took the worst case scenarios. Well, uh, it's probably true. Obviously, there are better scenarios, there are better uh, paths, better RTTs in some cases, but thanks again to the good people at uh, RIPE NCC, especially to Emil who sits right there, and a nice tool that they made which also uses RIPE Atlas, and it's called IXP Country Jedi. So basically, um, IXP Country Jedi takes uh, probes, well, the most probes it can in, uh, uh, in a single country, and tries to trace, it, to trace the route between all the probes. And this is the map 
of the trace routes between all the probes. So you can see it's not very compact. The routes really go around Europe. And to show you a counterexample, because you might say, well, it's like this all the time. It's not really, but uh, to show you a, an example, Hungary is uh, quite compact. Yes, there are two or, th or three uh, routes that go abroad, but on the whole, it stays pretty much uh, compact and centered in Budapest, where there is an internet exchange, obviously. So what's the situation of ISPs in Albania? It's, uh, Albania is it's quite a small country, so you would imagine that uh, you know, it's not a very fertile uh, ISP environment, but it is. Uh, there's more than 50 AS, uh, ASs in Albania. Uh, as a comparison, uh, in Macedonia there's 36, 14 or 15, they were saying this morning in Montenegro, and you know, larger and you know, more active countries like Greece and Serbia don't have that many more, yes, three times, but you know, not 10 times more. And uh, um, of those AS numbers, basically 80% have no peering to speak of. So they have transits. They have three what we call adjacencies, so BGP interconnections. Uh, only six ISPs are actually active and have some kind of uh, peering with other ISPs. There's 17,000 .al domains registered, this doesn't necessarily mean much because there's uh, lots of other TLDs. But the very important thing is that uh, when you look at local content, you know, Albanian language content, most websites are actually hosted abroad, either on you know, server farms or on CDNs. But always, you always have to go abroad to reach them. Like, none of the top 20 Albanian uh, websites is hosted inside the country. So what do we think happened? It's, it's a vicious circle, actually. You don't, if you have a scarce peering environment, so not a really active peering environment, and if all the packets to reach other ISPs in Albania go abroad, then, well, it's easier to actually uh, host your sites directly abroad. You know, it's faster to reach. And when you think about investing or, you know, uh, increasing your capacity, what do you focus on? You focus on transit. You don't care about peering. And that's where we go back to the start. There is no peering. So no peering, no servers. We, and that's the cycle that we would like to break. So plot twist, there is already an IXP in Albania. What? There is an IXP in Albania, but it's owned and operated by Alt Telecom, which is the incumbent in Albania. So the main problem of this IXP is that most other ISPs are actually um, don't trust the incumbent to fairly operate the uh, internet exchange. I'm sure they do a great job, but intrinsically, if the, the exchange is actually a service of the incumbent, you will have ISPs that do not trust this to be fairly neutral because it's a, it's a competitor and it's your worst competitor, the strongest competitor you have. You don't want to leave him uh, access to your peering policies. So what we're aiming to do is to build a neutral IXP in, uh, in Tirana. But by we, what I mean is that um, the internet exchange will be managed by RASH, which is the Albanian academic network. What Namex does is provide support. So this should guarantee the necessary neutrality and experience and build the trust from uh, that is necessary to actually have a workable uh, IXP from internet service providers. So we have already talked with uh, several Albanian ISPs and uh, several
because the streets uh, close to that are uh, full of fibers. And with this, our goals is, imagine so, uh, to keep local traffic local. So to break the cycle that I was showing before, to stop the long traces, to reduce the RTTs, and to actually promote locally hosted content. Because when the peering works, the RTTs are very low, then you, know, you can be enticed to have um, servers hosted locally. And on top of this, what we'd like to do is to be a catalyst for uh, the development of, uh, of a community in Albania, because not only is there no, no neutral IXP yet, but there is no network operators group, and that's okay because you know, they're starting uh, up in a, a lot of parts of Europe, and there is no formal ISP association yet. So there's really a community that needs to be built in, uh, in Albania. So we are planning to have uh, an ISP meeting in September, October in Tirana. Uh, the idea is to launch the ISP and hopefully already have some packets that uh, have gone through and uh, try to light a spark for uh, the NOG and the, and the ISP association. We're getting a lot of uh, external support from uh, the NCC already and from uh, ISOC and uh, hopefully from you. So if uh, you're an Albanian or Kosovan ISP, please come talk to us, uh, tell us what you think, how we can help you or how you can help us or how we can make something that uh, um, makes everybody happy. Thank you and uh, I'm here for any questions. Thanks, uh, Daniela. Do you have a question? Or you just, oh, you do have a question. We have a question. Hi, Daniela. Hi, Florence. Florence. I'm the coordinator for Albania, Kosovo, and the region. So uh, thank you for your presentation. As uh, Nina had said uh, before in uh, his uh, great presentation, um, building an IXP, it's, it's not only about the technology. It's really a lot about the community. So I might not be one of the uh, Albanian or Kosovan IXPs, but uh, I'm definitely interested in your community. So I'm really interested to see how you're going to build this community. There are a couple of initiatives also uh, in the uh, RIPE area. Um, you can also uh, have a look into OSNOGS, a discussion that happens at ITNOG2, by example, that can give you some hints and help how to uh, better create uh, the uh, community. I really strong, you strongly encourage you to do that. Uh, please uh, get your uh, networks, your, uh, the Rush Data Center on PeeringDB for other people out of the community to know about it. This is very interesting and we want to see more good stuff out of it. Thank you. Thank you.